Uh, today we're going to take a look at uh, the Aparian Ease integration that we've done with in Alpha Anywhere. <clears throat> so Aparian is uh, uh, provided to uh, do uh, mobile application management enterprise uh, level. Uh, if you can go up to their website, Aparian.com, they've got enterprise app store, uh, mobile security, app policies, etc. So you can educate yourself up there. What I wanted to do was show you the integration we did with Aparian Ease. So um, here is my Aparian Ease account. I'm logged in, and you can see I've got some uh, native uh, iOS and Android applications up here right now, and I'm going to show you how we publish those to uh, Aparian Ease directly from within Alpha. So I'm going to just bring you through the whole process. Uh, here we've got a, a uh, component that I'm building, and we'll just take a quick look at this in live preview so you can see what it looks like. This is uh, part of the sample applications, although I'm adding some new functionality to this, just playing around with the, the 2014 World Cup. I've got an API that I'm working with there. So uh, when, you, when you tap on that, it'll bring up a, a list of all of the, the teams sorted by their wins and then brings up some more information about them. And I'm going to integrate players and all kinds of cool stuff into that. So, uh, so here we have a, uh, uh, a web component. We're going to use this as the basis for our PhoneGap application. So let's go ahead and close that on out. I'm going to jump into uh, uh, my PhoneGap builder. So this is the PhoneGap app builder. And in this case, I'm going to uh, so we'll create a new PhoneGap project here. And so here I need to enter in my PhoneGap build credentials. I'm going to go ahead and say I want an Android and an iOS build, my initial UX component. So this is what we're going to base our PhoneGap app off of will be uh, PG example 2, which is the component you just looked at. Um, this particular component does not call back to an alpha server. It makes all uh, RESTful API calls, so I don't need to do anything there. Uh, I do have an additional file that I used for the background image. It's this background PNG file, so I'm going to go ahead and select that. And I'm going to say I'd like to generate the image resource files. And this is nice. You can generate the uh, application icon right here. Uh, and we will size it for you. So I'm going to go into uh, where I know there happen to be some sample images because I put them there in this PhoneGap folder here, app icons. And the idea is pick the largest one, and we'll just scale everything down from there. So I'm going to do that. I'm not going to change the uh, splash screens and all that. I am going to say, yeah, I want to enable a Perry and uh, Ease integration options. And uh, then I have to go ahead and enter in my Aparian credentials. And next, I need to pick the Aparian Ease server URL. So if I'm in the US, uh, I'm going to want to pick this one right here. We're going to go ahead and move on down. And here we can uh, change our uh, any of these uh, application ID, version, application name, uh, so on. I'm going to just leave those uh, as their defaults. And I'm going to say save and upload to PhoneGap build. So here we're saving all the configuration data, generating the uh, XML config file for PhoneGap build, uploading all of the assets to PhoneGap build, and ultimately will generate an IPA and APK file uh, for this application. You can see how simple that is. Next, it brings up the uh, PhoneGap app manager. And you can see we have some builds that are pending. That's uh, showing us right on this particular row is highlighted. That's our current uh, project. And uh, once these builds are done, we'll be able to access the, uh, uh, the files uh, through a uh, QR code that we can scan in. Now, because we've enabled Aparian integration, we'll also be able to download the APK and the IPA file so that we can upload those to Aparian. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. So on my complete, I'm just going to click on that, and it's going to say, would you like to save this um, for upload? And I'll say yes. So that's happened in the background. Now I could scan this right here, and it would install the app on my uh, iOS device. But I'm not going to do that. And I'm going to go back into my manager. So now I can see the uh, applications that I currently have up uh, on Aparian Ease. And I could 
If I wanted to, I could just update any of these. And, and if I click on the update button, it will bring up uh, metadata for this particular application. And <clears throat> let's just make a, so I'll just make a quick change here, a short note too. I could pick another file to upload. So another IPA or APK file or, or what have you. But in this case, I'll just make that quick change. And you'll see it highlights and says, okay, yeah, uh, we've made that change. But in our case, we want to add an app. So let's go ahead and do that. And now we're going to go ahead and pick the file to upload. So we're going to, in this case, uh, I've got an iOS file that I worked with. So I'm going to go ahead and open that up. And we're going to say OK. And now that's uploading to uh, Aperion. Now publishing. And then we'll see uh, our app has just come in. And so we could update it if we wanted to because it's now been published. Uh, but that's the whole process of, of building a PhoneGap application using PhoneGap Build and then taking that file and uploading that file to Aperion Ease. So there you could get a, a good idea of the integration that we've done, the very tight integration of PhoneGap Build and Aperion with Alpha Anywhere. Thanks.